Hello and welcome back guys and in this video we are continuing the manager review series with yet another manager Ronald Koeman. This is the new formation of Ronald Koeman where Ronald Koeman is playing a possession style of play with 4-3-3 formation. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. So let's just dive into the video by discussing about the manager itself, his player career and what kind of tactics he does employ in the real life scenarios. As you all know, Ronald Koeman is a Dutch international centre-back who played for Barcelona for the most of his career. The prominent years of his career came from Barcelona. He's presently the manager at uh, the Dutch national team itself. And he was quite a uh, attacking-minded centre-back as it seems from his stats because he scored 267 goals being a centre-back. That's massive. That's literally huge. Now let's just discuss about its tactics in the game in close relationship to what he actually uses in his Dutch national team. He usually prefers to line up his team in a traditional 4-3-3 pattern with lot of positional fluidity which means that the striker can come to the left wing position, the left wing can go to the striker position, the right wing can come to the attacking mid position, the attacking mid can come to the right wing position, the centre back can play as a centre attacking mid. There is a lot of possession fluidity with the way Ronald Koeman plays. This is actually very helpful because your team adapts to the situation and responds to how the game unfolds which can have a massive impact on the game. He usually prefers uh, having high defensive backline with aggressive pressing. He uses very attacking left back and right back who are not included in the main possessional build-up, just like Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is an attacking left-back, but he gets involved in the possession-based play. But Ronald Koeman doesn't prefer that. He prefers outright wide attacking left-backs and right-backs who stay at the wide, increase the width of the pitch and make it difficult for the opposition defenders to mark any possible play. Now let's just look into what kind of players will you actually need in order to get the best out of this manager. So over here on the screen you can see this is the preferred uh, starting 11 which I use for this manager with uh, as you know this guy uses very fast in attacking right back and left back so who can be a better attacking left back than the best left back in the world Roberto Carlos the best that there ever has been. He's attacking, he's speedy, and he has beautiful crosses. The one thing that is uh, important in this kind of formation is the crosses of the left backs and the right backs and the left wings and the right wings. They will tend to cross in the balls a lot because when you stretch the field and the middle of the park is clocked by the opponent's defense, the only option left with you is to make a cross in and at that point of the time your left back and the left wing or the right back and the right wing will be there at the wide side of the pitch so they must have good crossing curl and passing lofted passing in order to pull that out perfectly so i use roberto carlos if you see the details of this uh, guy he has a 87 dribbling 93 type possession and uh, 97 set piece taking 99 curl 98 speed 93 acceleration beautifully speedy he can be used as a set piece taker as that one of the best set piece taker in pest 20 mobile without a scratch of a doubt he has 99 kicking power so he will be very good in finishing as well because his finishing uh, what's his finishing his finishing is 84 but if you merge that or couple it up with the 99 kicking power he is going to finish most of the chance for you not all the chances but most of the chances will be converted so that's it for roberto carlos now moving on to the right back spot the right back spot i would not prefer to use Kimmich because as i said he uses attacking wing backs who do not indulge in the positional style of play so for this kind of role, Trent Alexander-Arnold is the best guy. If you don't have Trent Alexander-Arnold, you have to use Joshua Kimmich because him and Joshua Kimmich and Nelson Semedo are the ones 
who are really good attacking right backs and Javier Zanetti but if you want to go strictly by what he follows in the real life you must use Trent Alexander-Arnold good cross serve to ball good speed and beautiful attacking capabilities so let's just look for Trent I have the base version of the Trent but if you have the featured version of the Trent you are really lucky guys if you have the featured version of Trent moving on to the center back and you might ask me a question why isn't there the 99 rated Delict which I used for my manager review during the Fernando Santos review during the Jose Marino review the reason why I didn't use Delict over here because this manager demands the center back to be good on the ball how good you can be on the ball how well you can pass the ball how well you can create the chance how well you can build up the play from the back that's why you need center backs who are good with the ball so it's Virgil van Dijk and Jorah PK Delict isn't gonna fit in in this formation you can use Ramos you can use PK you can use Puyol you can use Maldini you can use van Dijk you can use uh, Thiago Silva these are the players compatible with this kind of formation now moving on to my midfield here the defensive midfield is so so important i can't stress how important the defensive midfielder is he is the anchor man the pivot of the whole game he will drop deep as the third center back when the wing backs push forward to provide defensive support and during the attacking phase he will be the one through whom all the passes will go he will be the midpoint the center man of the whole team and i would prefer for this position Merlin Pjanic, Sergio Busquets, Casemiro or Patrick Vieira none other than them don't use any other guy than these four that i've mentioned right now because these are the main anchor man midfielder or the orchestrators. If you see Milan Pjanic, uh, he uses the orchestrator. Uh, he has the orchestrator speciality, you see, playing style orchestrator. Use players with the anchor man or orchestrator capabilities. Uh, for me, it's Milan Pjanic or Sergio Busquets. Very easy. Moving on to my center mids, the center mids must be creative, very good passers of the ball, good dribbling and good bow control. These are really important because you know the midfield isn't that wide. There are not so many players in the midfield and that's one of the reasons why I don't like the traditional 4-3-3. But this manager was exceptional, that's why I made a review on him. If you see Beckham and Totti both qualify perfectly for this spot. You see the low pass 98, lofted pass 99 with good tight possession 90, with good ball control 90 and good def offensive awareness of 92. Moving on to Totti, he also has very similar kind of stats. Better in a tight possession and a dribbling and decent in the passing genre. You see the ball control, 95 ball control, 95 offensive awareness, 95 tight possession, 97 low pass, 95 lofted pass, and a good finishing as well of 93. So he perfectly qualifies for this kind of a manager. In replacement, you can use the Arthur Melo card, Frankie De Jong, the Paul Pogba, and these are the main kind of players which will qualify for this manager as his central mid. Now looking on to my left wing and right wing, they must be absolutely speedy guys. Good crosses of the ball, good tight possession and beautiful goddamn finishing. Because they will be staying at the white, so you need to cross in sometimes. When you don't cross in, you must dribble in your way through the center of the pitch or at least get yourself into a position from where you can take the shot. So that's why good dribbling good tight possession the crosses good low pass good lofted pass and good ball control for the right wing sport i use Lionel messi and you can use muhammad salah as well i don't have muhammad salah it's very sad because muhammad salah would have been a better choice over messi for this sport if you look at the stats of messi 
99 offensive awareness, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling. What do you need to know about him? Come on, man. 98 finishing, 91 lofted pass, 89. No, sorry, 89 lofted pass, 91 low pass, 8, 93 curl, 95 acceleration, and 90 speed. So, speedy, efficient dribbler, gold finisher, everything. The speed could have been better, that's why I would prefer Mohamed Salah over Messi for the sport. Dembele or Neymar Jr. They don't have to be extremely speedy. Good speed and acceleration, preferably about above 91 or 92. And beautiful crossing in stats with like good lofted pass, good low pass, good ball control, good dribbling. So 95 ball control, 99 dribbling, 96 head possession. 90 low pass, 88 loft pass, 91 curl, and a speed of 93, acceleration of 95. So he's actually better than Usman Dembele for the sport. Now, one of the most important guy, the number nine. He must be an outright striker, no other job for him. He will sit at the last line of the defense. He will sit there, he will constantly sit there. He won't be involved in any of the possessional gameplay yeah he can switch his position according to how the game unfolds that's the speciality of this manager but other than that he won't be there for anything he won't drop deep to create chances that's not his job he's an outright number nine he will stay breathe on the shoulder of the last defenders and whenever he gets a chance bang in beautiful finishing meeting. so for that spot obviously my favorite I have said it for I think past 7 to 8 videos, my favorite guy, Filippo Inzaghi. I don't need to show his stats anymore again, I think. 99 offensive awareness, 99 finishing, 93 heading and a decent speed of 89 and acceleration of 91. The other guy you can use is obviously Luis Suarez, another is Cristiano Ronaldo 101 rated and another the Robert Lewandowski card. Yes, Suarez has 95 offensive awareness, 95 finishing, and a good to decent, I won't say good, but decent speed of 83 and acceleration of 86. That's why I have moved Inzaghi as my preferred number 9, preferred, and I use Suarez when, you know, the Inzaghi is on a low form or he is tired and out of stamina.
So that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did smash down that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new over here and on that note i'll meet you in the next video but until then peace